Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a Tuesday morning installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist and, yeah, that's right, your host. So I uh, took the day off for Memorial Day yesterday. Had a few things going on. Today I'm back. Got a full cup of coffee. Look, there's, uh, there he is. Heine's in the house with us on the coffee mug today. And, um, yeah, we're going to cover some cool stuff this morning. Hey, if you would do me a favor, do what Joe just did. Leave a comment when you get here. Doesn't matter if you're watching on the replay. That's fine. Replay's cool. That's why it's there. Go, <coughs> excuse me. Go ahead and leave a, uh, comment. Let me know that you were here. Just say hi. And if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, like iTunes, tune in, uh, Stitcher, any of those, head on over to seven minutes in the morning.com. Join us on the Facebook community. Leave a comment. Let me know how you got here. All right. So this morning, the uh, title of this morning's episode is why not? This is, uh, it's actually, eh, you can't see it. It's, Little sign I've got up over the door over there. Um, and I'm going to be, I'll just go ahead and get into it. The quote that's on the sign says, there are a million reasons why not. There's only one great reason why. And when we start, you know, in writing in my journal this morning, I was going through some things. Actually, I was doing affirmations. And when I got to the end, I wrote, why not? And here's the problem with doing that. Why not forces you to focus on reasons not to, right? I mean, just think about it. The reticular activation part of our brain answers questions. That's what it's there for. One of the things it's there for. And so when you ask it a question, it's going to start giving you answers. And if you say, well, why not? Well, then you'll start getting a bunch of reasons. Why not? Shocking. I know. Right. But if you, and, and, but now this sounds logical. This sounds like a reasonable question. Okay. Well, yeah. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. Dot, 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 dot. The better way to ask the question, right? Is does this conform with my why? I've talked to, oh man, probably half a dozen people in the last two weeks who all had the same answer to this question. You know, you know the outcome you're trying to create. Well, no, they didn't. I said, well, how do you make decisions then? How can you decide if this quote opportunity that has landed in your lap is really an opportunity or not? If you can't ask yourself, yourself, does this, does, does taking advantage of this opportunity, does executing on this, um, action <laughs> move me closer to my desired outcome? It, it's not a hard question, but you have to know the desired outcome. You have to know why. And I, this is why I'm just, I'm probably going to pound on this drum on the radio this morning too. You have to know your why. If you don't, you're just, you're just being a hamster. Stop being a hamster. That's a great title for the show for the radio this morning. Stop being a hamster. Hamsters work really, really hard. They've even been known to have heart attacks. They're working so hard in the wheel and yet they don't go anywhere. There's no, don't be the hamster, have an outcome. And, and, and there's a, um, there's some other stuff I want to bring to you this week around this idea of creating, manifesting the, the life you crave, right? But it all begins by understanding the outcome that you want to create. Why are you engaging in this activity in the first place? So why, whatever you're about to do right now, why, why are you doing that? Why are you getting ready for work? Why are you at work? Why have you come home from work? (laughs) Why, 
Why, whatever it is you're about to do, why are you doing that? Does this move you closer to your desired outcome? And if your desired outcome is to retire fat, dumb, and happy, that's wrong. We need to talk. Just me and you, one-on-one. Send me a message, and I'll cure you from that. All right, that's it for today. Talk. Think about your why. Have a good one, because tomorrow we're going to peel that back. Uh, somebody, who was it that told me, stop, stop peeling the onion. Cakes have layers, too. I think that was Shrek that said that. Or maybe donkey. Anyway, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna work on peeling some of those layers back this week. Be sure and tune in for that. Work on your why today. Why are you doing what you're doing right now? That's it. Not any more complicated than that. Hey, radio shows at the top of the hour, about 47 minutes away, it looks like. Be sure and tune in for that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com will get you to the right place. You can join the live stream or just listen. Just let it start playing, and you can listen to it, and uh, that'll be awesome. All right, and that's today. That's Tuesday. Yeah, we'll go with that for today. All right, that's it. Talk to you again tomorrow. You have a terrific Tuesday, and uh, see you in the morning.